Carol? Carol? Oh, oh, oh there you are. <laughs> Gorgeous. Alice, Sam's here. We all set. I, I think so. Something's wrong. No. I'm not going to let a little sniffle of Cindy spoil our night out. Does she have any fever? None at all. Then everything's fine. <sighs> Does who have a fever? Cindy, but she hasn't. Just the sniffles. Oh, my. Well, I hope it doesn't turn into something worse. I mean, you know kids and sniffles. <sighs> have a nice time, everybody. They're sand tooting again. Well, I don't know that I should go, Mrs. Brady, with Cindy sick and all. Alice, Cindy is not sick. She just has the sniffles. What do you think Greg and I are here for? Still, I think I'd better tell Sam to forget about it. Alice, you'll do no such thing. Alice, Mrs. Brady and I have the utmost confidence in the babysitters we have engaged for the evening. Cindy's in excellent hands. Well, OK, enjoy the show. Happy curtain hanging, Alice. <laughs> it's our turn. Yeah, I guess so. Something wrong. Well, I was just thinking about what Alice said. Children's sniffles can lead to something worse. Honey, Cindy has sniffled before, and Cindy will sniffle again, right? We'll look in on her every five minutes, if you like. Please go. OK. Shall we? Let's. The gas. We turn the gas off? Dad, our stove is electric. <laughs> I was testing. I was testing. <laughs> Let's go, honey. Oh, listen, kids, I... We know where all the phone numbers are, Mom. And we'll lock the door right behind you. Have a nice time. Good night. Good night, sweetheart. Good night. You didn't say who is it? Only because I knew who it was. <laughs> you didn't chain the door. Certainly hard to bring up. <laughs> Marsha, where are you going with that? Cindy. She said her sniffles make her thirsty for milk. Boy, oh boy, is she sneaky. She told me that her sniffles made her hungry for chocolate cake. <laughs> Do you have to eat that in here? What's wrong with it? Get a napkin. I don't want apple just dribbling all over the furniture for me to get blamed for. What a grouch. <laughs> Peter, can't you sit up? Sure. Why? Very funny. You put a hole in the chair with your shoe. Do you mind? Happy now, Mr. Dictator? OK, wise guy. How'd you like to go to bed early and miss that movie on TV tonight? You can't make me do that. I sure can, for not showing proper respect to your sitter. Oh. That's better. <sighs> Jen, will you hang up the phone if you're not talking to anyone? Just a minute, Gloria. It so happens that I am talking to Gloria, but I'm not talking at the moment because I am listening to her do the talking. <laughs> Go ahead, Gloria. Kids. <laughs>